Hi everyone, it's Kristen. I'm an artist and teacher living in Willow Beach, Ontario, Canada. This is video 11 in a series of videos on acrylic painting for beginners and it's free. So last video we prepared our background. It's called underpainting where you're blocking in those major color areas and shapes as well as the light, medium and dark tones for your painting. Use your inspiration photo uh, for clues and look really closely and see if you can kind of just break it up into those larger shapes and main colors. Now that you've done those thin washes, and they've dried, we are going to continue um, glazing over these first layers with more transparent layers. And as we move from back to front, from the background to the foreground, you're going to add more saturated paint with less water. So there'll be more details. Everything will be more in focus down here. And as you move to the background, things will be more blurry and, and transparent and the front will be more opaque. Um, you're going to go from light to dark, dark, blurry or less detail to more detail as you move to the, to the foreground. And really this process can take as long or as little as you need and you just continue to build using those techniques we practiced using the tools that you liked using to create cool effects on your own original art. So I'm going to go through that process right now so that you can see how you take your background to almost being finished. Here's my background that I prepared in the last video. And now I'm gonna show you to how to go from this background to this. So this piece is almost finished. There's some areas that I'm really happy with and I really like, and there's some other areas that I just need to add some final touches and um, resolve some issues that I'm not liking. I want to do something up here some more. I'm pretty happy with the driveway. I want to add some more detail in here. And then once I put some final highlights in, it should be done. Take your time, use the techniques that you liked from your practice exercises and have fun. You can try out on another piece of paper, uh, any techniques before going on here, or you could just go for it and try something. If you don't like it, um, you can always let it dry and repaint it. It really depends on your personality and how you go about doing things. Your process will be your process. I'm gonna show you my process and take what you like and don't like from that and you'll add your own uniqueness to this process. I think I'm just gonna pick an area. So this is what you'll do too, pick an area. I'm gonna pick the driveway here and I'm just going to start looking at my inspiration photo. And I did some of these uh, value charts here on some of the colors that I mixed. And I really like the way these colors go together. And really how I did this was just adding more white to get down to here and a little bit more yellow, so, so less yellow. So I added a little bit of yellow here, a little bit less yellow, very little, and, and worked up this way as well, adding more of a darker red, then adding a little bit of a brown and purple, and then to get to this really dark color that reads actually as black, but it's really just a dark, dark, dark purple. And I've told you before that I very rarely use black. I use very little bits of it because I'd rather create a color like this that's much richer and I just feel it, it looks a little bit more natural and unique. Uh, so I'm gonna spritz my palette, get it nice and wet. And then as the water dries, the paints will have more pigment. I'm going to spritz my canvas. 
and I can just layer with the, the transparent to more opaque washes. Okay, so I like to just get this nice and even. Even application of the water. Okay. So looking at my inspiration photo, there is, I like to work from light to dark. So here there's some little white areas and then there's this these sort of peachy areas and then they go into more of an orangey area. And then these almost are like a, a reddish purple area. So I'm just gonna start laying those colors in. And sometimes with these greens, I like to add a little bit of the red because it just helps everything feel more balanced and uniform. It's not enough that you're gonna, it's gonna look red. It just takes down that really bright, bold color. If you like that, keep it in, but I like things to feel more muted and natural, um, especially in landscapes. So I'm just adding a little bit of this reddish color just to tone these greens down a little bit more and I've got a really thin wash of it here that I can add to and just pull from as I take there okay so first of all I'm going to do a very light white very watered down lots of water in my brush and I'm going to add those areas in here, just drop in some color. Um, here, I see uh, there's a white area up in here, so I'm just gonna add some of that in there. And there's just a few little areas where there's some white. I need to just block in some more of these flowers. And in here, I need a little bit more color. It's looking a little too water, especially down here as I get to the areas that can have more of an opaque look because they're closer to the foreground. Okay, so I've got those there. Uh, there's a bit of white here, a little bit here. I'm not too worried about it because it's very wet. I can just blot it out with my towel if I don't like it. So I'm putting those major color areas in. Um, you can use your finger. Uh, sometimes I just blot it out with my, I blot it out with my um, finger. I have my towel on my lap so that I can add water and take water away as needed. Sometimes if it gets a little too wet, which I'm finding up here, I can add in the white in here and then take out some of the water as I go and then blend blend and blend and blend so it's nice and soft especially in the background and as I move forward here I might blend some and leave others so maybe I'll put this little bit of white here and here uh, here and here the driveway has some, and then maybe I'll blend out this one a little and then leave that one. So you you just wanna create that variety, right? Uh, where's my white? Okay, so I'm gonna throw some little bits in here. There. And there is a little bit of white down here. I'm just gonna blend it in right now. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that um, for now. I mean, I can always go back and rework things. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that white road in the back there that's showing through. Get some water, blend, blend. Okay, there. Everything in the back needs to be pretty blended. This is not blended enough. I think I'm gonna to go to the lighter green now. So I'm just gonna take some of that light green, take some white, make it a lighter version. Then I'm gonna take the little bit of this red color back here 
that's just really watered down. And then when I do that, it just, see, it just makes it a little bit more natural. And then you can kind of just put some more of that green back in if you like it. Um, there we go. So now I'm gonna lay in this color. Just some nice big leafy shapes. Looking at your inspiration photo, there's, it almost looks like a line and a line. So I'm gonna just do my line, line. There's another line here. There's like a square shape here. There's like a little bit here at the end. Um, uh, there's a few little, let me get a little bit more paint. There's a few little um, sharp plants just in here. So I'm gonna add a few of those in. And then I'll go in with the darker color to add the shadows in a minute. And then I'm gonna blend. Blend it in with the white, blend it in a little bit with the dark, and just keep removing the paint until everything looks soft in the background. Dab with your finger, dab with the brush, wipe out the water. Now I'm gonna go in with that more of a middle tone green here. And I'm just gonna add it to my green here. This way everything goes together. So, whoa, and that wasn't what I wanted to do. I need more green. Okay, there. This is too light now because of my accident. I, and that happens, no big deal. Uh, I'll just mix some more green here. I've got some blue, I'll just grab some of this yellow. Equal amounts will give you a a little bit more yellow because yellow is lighter than the blue. And then if you want, you can test it out, see what you think. I have some just paper I've cut up here. So that's that middle tone in here, right? So I'm just working from the white to this light green. I'm going here, we'll go here. And then again, this reads as black, but it's really not. It's really like this dark tealy color. Um, so this middle ground area, I'm looking here, there's some of it in this middle row and I can see a few, just don't be too worried about it. Just put it in. If you don't like it, take it out. Think of it in shapes. When you think of it in terms of colors and shapes, um, and don't look too closely at the scenery. Just see it as, as the individual elements. It will be easier for you to lay them on your page. Um, so here's some shadows in the back here. I'm just gonna lay in um, in a couple of little spots here along the grass. This brush is actually getting a little big for what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna go with my smaller brush here. This brush, you can go quite wide and as pointed as needed. So I'm just gonna move down to this brush while I'm in this driveway area. Uh, okay, water. All right, so I'm just gonna lay in some of this grassy area that's right up against the driveway. Okay, uh, there's quite a bit here. Okay, I uh, like this area right here. Is, there's like a shape in here, a little bit up here, and then you can blend as, if you need to. There. And blend it in with the green that we just laid down. And I like it in here. I just need some more paint. And, you know, lop in some little leaves here because it's not perfect. There's gonna be a couple leaves hanging down from the tree here. Um, and we'll put a little bit of darkness in here because it feels a little light. I'll go back in and put some highlights later, but it's just feeling this corner has too much white. Okay, there. 
I don't like this corner right now, but I'm going to leave it because I'll fiddle with it too long and this video will be way too long to watch. Now I'm going to do my darkest green color. I'm going to move over here by the black and I'm going to add this darker color. And all I did is added a little bit of blue to this to make sort of this purple, these purple tones. So this purple tone is in here. Right, and then if I add a little bit more blue and a little bit, like a touch of black, you're gonna get this purple here and then you get the black, okay? And this is really gonna be the finishing touches stage in the next video, but I'm gonna lay in some of these colors because you can see they just look really nice with these greens. Um, because these greens have a lot of yellow in them, and this purpley color has a lot of red in it, the green and red are complementary colors. They're across each other on the color wheel, so that just adds a lot of interest and um, to, adds a lot of interest to your work and makes it more balanced. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little bit of this color here in the driveway. So I'm gonna lay in some shadows. I'm not too worried about because if I don't like them, I can take them out. So that's very purpley. So I want to add a little bit more red to that. And that's okay. So you can either dab it out or leave it and blend it. So it, there. Oh, that's a bit better. Um, I like, it needs a little bit of orange. Still feeling there. And try it out. Still a little too bright. I'm gonna try a little bit more of this orange color in here and a little bit of darker purple in here. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Let's try. Yeah, I'm happy. So you can have it more of a transparent or you can take quite a lot and have a bit of a richer uh, opaque look depending on where you're putting it in your painting. So here we go. So there's these long sort of shapes that kind of go across the grass here. I have way too much water in my brush. So I'm just gonna take from this for now and then um, until this water kind of laps up a bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need more orange. It's too red. Okay, I don't like that, no problem. Just blot it out. Oh, I got some in the sky, no problem, because you can just go in with the water, like I showed you before. Just lay in some water and then pull it out. 